Guys, Gengar Roy's back. We just had an, another battle with Groudon, Xerneas, Mirror Match. And, uh, wow. There's a lot of Groudon Xerneas today. As I come back and I see another Groudon in the field, and a Kyogre on the other uh, opposite side, looks like everybody's got a primal. So, I mean, th I mean that's what people gotta do these days, is you have to have a primal on your team. But, uh... Things aren't looking so good for Trolls McGee as he is down to his last Pokemon and looks like the rain is on the field. Thunderous goes for the foul play, wow. And Kyogre will go first. Or the water spout. That should be enough to take it out. Good game. Wow. I missed the entire match. <laughs> <laughs> but looks like Kyogre just beat a, a Groudon. I mean not really the, the biggest surprise as, as Kyogre, if it gets the weather out, it'll beat that Groudon. I mean, honestly, it just, whichever Mon has the weather up, it's probably going to win. If, if Groudon has the, the sun up, Kyogre can't do much, but maybe like Ice Beam, while Kyo Groudon can two-hit KO with the Press of Ice Blades, even one-hit one hit KO with some Helping Hands. But uh, man, VGC is 16. So much diversity, wow! Not just kidding, <laughs> but um, but yeah. I mean, this is this has just been a really inter interesting meta game. And after playing on Showdown for a while, I, I kind of got the feeling of what's popular and what's not. Um, obviously, the meta game is still developing, but I mean, can it really develop much further than uh, than the primals? I mean, I'm pretty sure. Primal is going to win every single tournament. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I just got a lot of money on it. it it's just really, it, it seems really very, very centralized in this game. Just because, just because the weather is like we're talking about. I mean, it, it's just a weather war, this, this, uh, this generation, this, this format. I mean, David could have won if, uh, if he had the uh, the sun up, I'm sure. But but Thunderous did reveal foul play. Not a lot of Thunderous have foul play, but but that that was really interesting to see. Um, so in my match, I actually just played. It was pretty much a mirror. My opponent had a Xerneas. He led a Xerneas, a Moongus. I had Xerneas in the back. 
and he, he had a grout on the back. Um, um, I got really scared because he, he was able to set up Geomancy very, very early. I had uh, taunted into a, the Protect with Crobat. I, I had Crobat on the field and I taunted into the Xerneas instead of the Amoongus and he was able to put my Pokemon to sleep. But I was able to set up Tailwind and Kangaskhan was faster and get rid of that Xerneas. So that really helped. Plus I had Overheat on Groudon so I, I was able to one-hit KO his Amoongus. I'm not, I don't think he was really expecting that. He probably saw Eruption earlier. So that was, that was cool. I, so David, uh, would you like to talk about your match? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. Um, <laughs> so, so what happened? I, I just jumped in, basically, the last turn. Yeah, basically, I had picked up a... So, well, the way that I like to play my, uh, my uh, first two turns is I like to be really aggressive because um, when you pick up a, a knockout in the first round, uh, or in the first uh, turn, I mean, it's, it's pretty much devastating to an opponent. It's, they have mm -hmm. to play from, the, from behind like, the whole time. Uh, basically, I went for Helping Hand, Double Edge, mm -hmm. which is something that, um, really, there's not too much you can do about it besides protect the right Pokemon. Mm -hmm. um, you can't, you, you know, you can't taunt the, you can taunt my Cresselia, which is what people usually do, and which is why I don't usually tend to fake out. Um, uh, so, uh, like, if there's a Crobat, and the Crobat wants to taunt my uh, Cresselia, Helping Hand goes before taunt, so mm -hmm. Helping Hand can get off, mm -hmm. and then I can Double Edge into the Crobat, nice. can't knock it out first mm -hmm. turn. So that's basically what I decided to do, except uh, I, I just I kind of targeted the wrong Pokemon this time, and I should have uh, went for that uh, Thunderous instead of the um, instead of the Mian Chao, uh, which it, it low kicked onto my um, onto my Kangaskhan, and it uh, knocked put it down to like 12 HP, I think is what it was. Um, but honestly, uh, that Pokemon could have been dealt with later in the game, and uh, the, the thing that this this format has been teaching me a lot is uh, there are KOs that you can save until later mm -hmm. um, that right now you might need to focus on the other Pokemon. Mm -hmm. And if I would have knocked out true. that Thunderous, I would have been able to uh, pick up my Trick Room later later in the game and I would have been uh, the Tides would have been completely flipped over. Mm -hmm. So um, basically that's that's what that game taught me. Uh, uh, I lost, I lost, a, and it was 2-0. It was pretty close right up until the very end and he got that taunt into my Trick Room. But uh, um, I learned a lot from that battle. And, um, you know, you gotta you learn you learn more from losses than you do wins. So, I mean, so it's a very good game, very good game. That, and that's how uh, one turn can completely change the entire match around, and especially in this format, Pokemon have very high base stats, and you see the legendaries that were allowed, and these legendaries have just mash out powerful attacks. Like you, you see Primal Ground on with with Press of Ice Blades, with uh, with Eruption. Primal Kyogre with Water Spout and Origin Pulse. We got Mega Rayquaza with Dragon Ascent. Yeah. You add all, the, all these powerful moves that can potentially one hit KO other mods, both of your Pokemon's Pokemon, that's it. Just the entire game, just just flip, just from one turn. And you got you have to be really careful. This this metagame, it it's gonna teach players to be to really think more and to try and make less mistakes, and I feel like it's gonna uh, it's gonna make players really manage their risk versus reward uh, mm -hmm. outcome. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, is it gonna be worth if I don't pick up that knockout? Am I gonna be screwed? And is he gonna be able to KO my Pokemon, or is is the Helping Hand uh, Double Edge gonna be able to pick up that knockout? And is that gonna be worth it? In the long run? Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, or um, is that uh, recoil damage gonna be what what makes me lose the game in the in the end, in the mm -hmm. long run? You know what I'm saying? So. Um, all things that you have to think about, uh, thinking two, three turns ahead, um, and really you don't have to think super far down the line. This, because this format is so fast paced, mm -hmm. I really think you only have to be about two or three turns ahead of your opponent, and you can uh, you can really get in their head. And I do agree. It, it is a lot easier. I mean, if you look at last format, um, towards the end of the year, a lot of Pokemon were bulky, so mm -hmm. the games. I mean, just look at Worlds. It's, it's not decided, they just do little damage at a time, right? It's, it's not like one picks up a knockout right away, where, I mean, like, you see 2013 in, a, in like, in Arash Almaty, he just picks out, he, I mean, he earthquakes into the Heatran and knocks it out. Yeah. Um, it, it's completely different. Um, so last year, like, it, it was just bulky, and you could, you don't have to think the entire game around, and it, I mean, you do. You, you, you would like to have your game plan from turn one to turn the end of the turn, which required you to maybe take like 
what eight to ten turns you have you have to really think about think of the entire game plan but this format has made it a lot easier and, and that's why I say this is Absolutely. this game is a lot easier or this format is a lot easier because now you've taken that those ten turns and you've reduced it to five just because like because one move could completely change the game so when you're thinking one or two turns ahead and it, it could be over just by then so you, you really got to think of all your options I mean, if you let him set up the Geomancy, is it, is it worth it to KO, to KO um, your mind? Like, like, for example, in your game, was it worth it to take the low kick just to pick up the knockout? Um, and there's just things like that. Like, if you, as, as long as you take out the Does threat. Does Mancha have quick guard? Yeah, it has, it has, has quick It has quick guard, and it also has inner focus. So oh, okay. if you had used fake out on See, it. See, I... I Thing, I've been faking out Crobats uh, at the beginning of this. It's just things yeah. that I forget about. Yeah. Because Crobats wasn't that prevalent in BGC 15. And uh, that's basically where I started. And, and uh, that's where I pull most of my knowledge from. Mm -hmm. I, mean, you know, I, I didn't see too many Crobats, so I don't. Interfocus isn't the first thing that's on my mind. It's taunt. Right. It's going to taunt something. So that's something that I have to think about. Uh, yeah. It's good to know that me and Shao has. As well, and yeah. and I, I've been, uh, I haven't been faking out Kangaskhan's because some of them are running their I know, as right? Well. I, Although I, I don't, do I feel like it's a Kangaskhan. weaker option. I still think it's, a, I still think it's pretty yeah. decent. I mean, ended up the run, so yeah, people still use it. You have to prepare for it. So yeah, you know, if they do have even focus tank, you, you just, you just got to be prepared. You just have to know, okay, if I'm gonna fake out the Kangaskhan, does it have inner focus? Um, is it just a wasted turn? You know. Um, and that's that risk versus reward, like we were talking about earlier. That is. That is the risk. Is it worth it to fake out that King's Gone? Exactly. Basically, let's say it is in your focus. Was it worth it to fake, use fake out on it anyway? Because it it, did, it does a lot of damage. But is it going to go ahead and you know what if it's faster and it exactly. and you waste your fake out because your opponent's Pokemon was fast because of the speed type? Let's say you use fake out on a Kangaskhan and it it goes after your po your uh, opponent's Pokemon uses fake out. Then that's another waste of turn. It looks like uh, they're posting round four here. Uh, so, uh, wh by the way, how are you doing? What's your record like? I'm I'm two and one. Me too. So I, I won my last two. So I, I did face uh, Groudon Xerneas mirror match nice. both times. Nice. And I'm definitely expecting to see more Groudon Xerneas. I'm sure yeah. you guys will too. <laughs> well, round four is posted, <laughs> so let's go. Uh, let, we're gonna we'll be right back with the next two battlers to stream, and then uh, and then we'll move on from there. So right. we'll be right back. Cool.